This is Shepard Humphreys bringing you some legal advice today. I'd rather be tried by 12 than carried by 6. This is something that a lot of uh, gun folks with great bravado like to say. Uh, this is something that went back when I was a cop. Cops used to say to each other, and basically, long story short, was we're going to go out and beat people up and shoot them, and, and we would rather do that than to risk possible personal injury. Now, of course, when I was with a government, you know, you don't become a cop because you're brave. I mean, that's that's obvious. It's a it's a group of people that you know you're not going to lose, and that's one of the reasons that that uh, that kind of person gets into that kind of work. And I was that kind of person for a long time. I'm not here to put cops down, uh, but I don't think anybody thinks they're braver than the average electrician or carpenter or doctor or whatever. So when we think about self-defense or a person that's willing to defend themselves or, or those around them, we can't just look at somebody who's traditionally been in a role that, you know, gets gets credit for that. That's, that's not going to cut it. We have to actually look at what the real world is like and what really truly happens if we defend ourselves if we use violence against others, even in self-defense, even when perfectly justified. So the saying in and of itself, yes, it is true. It would be better to go to court than to be killed. That makes very good sense. I'm not arguing that. I'm simply saying that let's be careful running around bragging about this because in truth, the court part kind of sort of would suck a lot essentially you're you're pulled into court repeatedly let's say you never even end up spending a day in jail but you're subpoenaed for this or for that and you have this court hearing and then that court hearing and then your attorney lets you know that you've received a an order from the other attorney saying that you need a list of all the property that you own that's worth over twenty dollars because of course they need to know what your assets are so that they can sue you for those assets your attorney tells you oh don't worry we're going to win this thing uh, you know, not a huge thing. So then you have to take days or weeks off work to count up all of your crap that's worth over 20 bucks. Think of the stress as you go through things and you wonder if that old photo album that aunt, your aunt gave you 30 years ago, is that worth more than 20 bucks? Do you list it? I wonder if you lose the lawsuit, if you're going to be able to at least take the pictures out of it before you hand that old uh, floppy photo album over. Who knows? All these things are going through your mind as you're going through the, your paperwork, as you're going through your assets, as you're getting yet another piece of paper that says you have to do this filing by this date, and you missed this one, so you have to do that one, and then your attorney is suggesting that we file a blah, blah, blah uh, paper before this date so that we put them on the defense on the blah, 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 and then if we don't get that done, but then that's going to be another, oh, you know, we should be able to do it in two or three hours worth of time, so there's another 700, 800 bucks your attorney gets paid. And this goes on and on and on for months and for years. And it is not pleasant. And it does beat being dead. I'm assuming. Let's say it does. So again, I'm not saying to risk dying in order to not go to court. However, don't take it flippantly. Don't joke around about it at the bar. Don't pretend like it's not going to be a big deal. Defending yourself, using deadly force to do so, is a huge deal, and it deserves serious, careful contemplation. Don't do stupid stuff. Don't underestimate the misery of being tried in a court of law.